Stirring the coffee with chopsticks using the vortex method, the only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee at the molecular level. Good morning. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started. But first, Sumatra coffee. Perfect. Nice. I was told this was a favorite of Frank Sumatra. Some of you will believe that. A broom is drearily sweeping up the broken pieces of yesterday's life. Somewhere a queen is weeping. Somewhere a king has no wife. And the wind cries Mary. Jimi Hendrix, 1967. Napoleon Hill talked about it in Think and Grow Rich, Chapter 11. And I can sum it up in three words. Channel your mojo. Can be done. That's one of the great things about being a lay monastic who is, whose life is silence, solitude, and service. You kind of channel the mojo. There's, there's times where you can go into monk mode. I went into monk mode for a long time. And I'm not talking about the popularized monk mode. No fap and all this, like, all the weird, what I would call new, new men religion stuff. I'm, let's name them all. Wim Hof breathing, cold showers, monk mode, no fap, like, these, these trends that go through the web and through Reddit and such. You can forget all that stuff. Forget it. The real monk mode is about solitude, silence, and service. It's not about not touching your genitals. It's not about your breathing. Think about it. It has nothing to do with turning something else, turning something natural into a religion. The lay monastic focuses on the Lord and how he can best serve the Lord. He or she. I guess for women that would be nun mode, right? Buck Owens. I heard the reason, I heard the biggest reason why people don't get married is fear. Roy Clark says, that's funny because I didn't know what fear was until I got married. That was from the show Hee Haw. That was probably in the late 60s, early 70s. Always made me laugh. There's reports from Colorado that there are stacks of bricks on sidewalks. Right now. This was actually last night. Stacks of bricks ready to be thrown. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder who's delivering them. I wonder who's going to be picking up those bricks. Imagine having a business, you work real hard, and then you find a stack of bricks on the sidewalk in front of your business. I will say this, Skechers are way better than Nike Air. I was a Nike Air Max guy for a long time. And they were okay. And then I found Skechers. And my walks are... It, it's night and day. There's no comparison. I wish I could get some affiliate money for this, but Skechers are amazing. Thick foam, support, memory foam, soles. Literally, I feel like I'm walking on grass when I'm walking on the street. Love my Skechers. Love them. Very rarely does a woman marry or stay with the first man she dates after her marriage ends or while it's ending. But every man who has her, other than her husband, thinks that he's got her not realizing that he is a transition man. Transition men always lose. Is that you? Message me if that's you. She's not going to marry you. You are helping her transition out of her marriage. She's got a lot of carousel riding to do before she settles down again. And she's taking the highest bidder. Don't kid yourself. She is not going to go down in status the next time around. She's going to go up in status. And her job right now is to maintain her status while she's looking to take the escalator up. 
mail-in ballots are a fraud tactic. Don't look at it any other way. They've never been an issue ever in this country except for people who are traveling abroad for work or temporarily out of the States. The fraud is amazing. Amazing. And I hope they get to the bottom of it. Mail-in ballots, if you're not traveling for business, are nothing but fraudulent activity. Everything funneled into this. This is where the you-know-what comes into play. Keep people in the houses. If you keep people in, they're not going to go and vote. So you create a system where they can mail in a ballot. It's 100% fraudulent. 100%. It's time to take back the country and make America great or keep America great. Pray for all the brave men and women in uniform assigned to restore peace and return power to the people. That's going to be happening tonight. Watch. Any spillover into the streets is going to be quickly shut down. Quickly. So be vigilant and pray. And the last time I checked, businesses were not boarding up their windows because they were afraid of Trump supporters. This might be the one day of the year that I'm getting political. Like, truly political. And that's okay. There are certain people who have a kinky relationship with pandemics and lockdowns. They love getting tied up, gagged, and told what to do. I don't want to be told what to do. I don't want to be gagged with a, with a mask. I don't want to be locked up, locked in, or locked down. Are you done with it? Have you had enough yet of the pan Dem. Ick. Have you had enough? I have. I dated a single mom once who had a cat. We did break up. I'll tell you what, I do miss the cat. If your woman believes in astrology, you need to break up with her as soon as possible. She won't see that coming. Little Miss Psychic Witch that she is. I've given many last haircuts to people. Cut their hair today and they're gone tomorrow. And it's weird talking to someone, having a great conversation with them, and you say, see you in a few weeks or see you next month. And then you never see them again. And then when you get the news that they transitioned, that they died, you go back in your mind to the last conversation you had with them. I do that professionally. Personally, it's true. When someone dies, you go back to, like if someone in your family passes away, you go back to what was the last conversation you had with them? Right? If you have had a different experience, please tell me. Share that down below. Today I will be uploading my conversation with Elliot Hulse. Look for that later on today, probably early evening tonight. I would imagine it'll be definitely uh, a good thing to watch, a, a distraction. Take your mind off of what's happening. Let me reiterate to you men that are watching. Your woman right now is stressing out over the election. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you're voting for. If you're a man and you have a woman in your life, you need to be the rock for her and show her that you're stable. You don't need to participate in feminine emotional expression. If you are a man and you are freaking out about the election, you are exhibiting feminine behavior. You need to be the rock for your woman, your sister, your mother. No matter who you are, no matter what your political stance is, men, be a rock. Be solid, be sure, be firm. That's what makes you a man. If you are reacting like a little bitch and yelling at the TV and yelling at the candidates, you are acting feminine. As a father, I'm telling you, be a man. Femininity looks beautiful on a woman. It looks horrible on a man. If you are contentious about this election, you're being feminine. 
If you are stressing out, you're being feminine. It's time to be a stable stoic and be a lighthouse for people who are on a rough ocean of emotions. They can look to you for strength. It's not a bad place to be, is it? And with that, finish your coffee. And I'll see you tomorrow on The Daybreak Show, your home of sanity, clarity, and reason.